All right, everybody, this is going to be a very quick video because in this video, I want everybody to know how to do two really simple things. And both of them are about taking screenshots on a Chromebook. Um, and there's two different ways that you can do that. Anyone can do it. It takes seconds. And once you know how, it's really, really simple to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Chromebook and I'm going to pretend that I want a screenshot of everything on the screen, of every single thing I see, where the computer or the Chromebook is just gonna take a picture of exactly what I see on the screen. So to do that, I need two keys. Number one, this control key right here, it says CTRL. And there's another key, I'm gonna tilt the Chromebook for a second, it's this one right here. And it looks like a box with two lines by it. It's actually called the Show All Windows button on a Chromebook, but that is all I need. I'm gonna start by holding down my control key, hold down, hitting that show all windows button, one press, and you see immediately it pops up with a little window down here that says it took a screenshot. Now, there's three things I can do. I can either X out of that and say, well, I don't need that right now, or I don't wanna do something with it right now, so I, I want it to go away. Um, it will actually go away on its own, as you just saw, if I don't press anything. Or the two other buttons that I'll show you, you'll see again in just a second, would be to show where that picture goes in a folder or to copy it to a clipboard, which means like to do a copy that you could then go and do a paste on um, in a document or in something else that you're working in. So that was the first way, right? And that captured my entire screen. We'll see that result in a second. Here's the second way. Uh, let's say on this tab right here, I don't want to get everything on the screen. I just want to get this guy, the smiley with his thumb up right here. He's all I want to capture. It's very similar. I just have to add in one more button. I'm going to hold down my control button again, this time also my shift button right above it and press that same show all windows key. So ready, hold down control, hold down shift, one press on the show all windows button. And now you see that my screen went dim. Uh, it dimmed a little bit because what it's waiting for is for me to draw a box. So I wanna look for where I wanna start uh, the corner of that box, which if you can see on my screen, I'm gonna start right here, click and drag and let go. Now, I actually didn't do that perfectly. I cut off a little bit of his top because I'm trying to hold a camera and do this at the same time. But if I didn't like it, I could go and do it again. I could go and redo it. I could do it on any screen pretty much any time I want. But where did they go? Where do you find those? I bet some people, if you're really good students and you've paid attention in computer class before, would probably say, oh, I bet they're in my Google Drive. That would make sense but they're actually not. They're in a place that we don't go very often, um, that we don't, we don't really discuss very often because we try to stay away from using this, but it's in the local file storage on that Chromebook. If you have things in your Google Drive, you could sign into any uh, computer in the world in Chrome or, or in Google. Uh, you could go on any different Chromebook and the things will still be in your Google Drive. Those screenshots that we just saved right now are only in this Chromebook that I took this, this screenshot on because they're in what's called the local file storage or the storage that's inside of this Chromebook. To get there, I'm going to go down and click on this little circle um, if, when we've used Windows computers, it's where the start button is. So this little circle right here, that's called the launcher. And then in the launcher, you'll see a shortcut for files. And if you click there, this gives you both the files that are in your Google Drive, so you could see them, but they're also gonna give you any local files that are on this computer. So if you took a video or picture with the webcam and you saved as, it as a local file, or you just did the screenshot like we just did, that's how we get to them. And uh, for the screenshots in particular, I'm in my files, and then I just need to click on downloads. And you'll see the previews right here where the first one that I took of the whole screen is right here. And there's the screenshot. I can double click and open it. And then also the screenshot that I took of the thumbs up smiley right here. And those are both files now. What can I do with those? Well, I could put them in the trash if I don't need them anymore and I don't want them. And I'll do that with one of them in a second. Also, see how it has your local storage here 
and it has your Google Drive storage right here, you can very easily transfer those to Google Drive. So let me do one of each. Let's say this Smiley, I don't really like him, I don't wanna use him, so I'm gonna click on him one time and press this trash can button. I wanna delete him. So he's now in my trash can. This screenshot that I took of the school's webpage, I actually want that in my Google Drive. So I'm gonna click and hold that screenshot, drag it to my Google Drive, let go, and now it copies it to my Google Drive. If I go and look right here, um, actually I, I have so many things in my Google Drive, it'll show a lot, but it would be in my Google Drive right now if I went to that and went to use it. Um, and then if I don't need this anymore, I can just delete it. The one other thing that we uh, saw come up in that pop-up menu but that we didn't use, here I'm gonna do just a full screen screenshot again. I took one and copied a clipboard. That's a really good option if you were working in Google Docs or in Slides or on something else and you wanna copy and paste what you just took. So I took that screenshot, I have this screenshot here and I'm gonna click copy to clipboard. So now if I went to Docs and I was working in a Google Doc or I created a brand new Google Doc, oh, I didn't wanna take a tour, no thank you. If I go to a brand new Google Doc, I could go and paste, either by doing an edit, paste, or by doing a control V, and I'll see that screenshot show up. All right, so there's a couple ways to take screenshots and use screenshots and where those screenshots go and what you can do with them on a Chromebook.